it was just the other day that the viewer had to watch or go through Raghe. And you would have thought that that was the abyss. And if bad cinema meant anything, it was Radhe. Down south, director Vijay Chandar decides to dub his Tamil film, Sangat Tamiran, to a Telugu movie called Vijay Setupati, starring Vijay Setupati. Yet again, it's a cinema dealing with meaningless violence, good boy, bad boy, fights. There are so many fights and blasts that you would well believe that you are at the Gaza border today as you watch the film. This violence catering constituency of stars, I would do my penny bit to talk and request people to please raise their concern against this kind of cinema that celebrates violence without purpose. Violence is a way of life. Violence in various formats in a social order being depicted <clears throat> and answered, I can understand. But this kind of meaningless celebration of mayhem in the name of the hero and his heroics is so stale, so socially incorrect and politically incorrect that we need to call halt. This film starts off with a small court case where a copper company, a factory is injuncted from operating. But quickly we move to another urban area where you have Charan, played by Vijay Setupati, romancing his way with Rashi Kanna, both from two totally different economic strata in society. While Rashi Kanna, that is Kamalini, is from the super rich family. She's the daughter of a rich industrialist, played by Ravi Kishan as Sanjay. He is also the villain in the piece. So you have the heroine falling in love with the hero and who has a father who's the villain. Can it get more archaic? Can it get more templated? The answer is no. Some difference now. So while the whole story of romance and all is going and you expect the rich fathers to say no to their suitor who belongs to a totally different cultural milieu, you find him saying yes, but you know he's the villain, so he has an agenda behind. And the agenda is that our hero is a lookalike of a guy called Vijay Setupati, who is back in the village, trying to bring in some kind of a green revolution in his village. Happy with his father Nazir, mother Tulsi, when the local politician, played by Ashutosh Rana as Chantabai, decides enough is enough and has the entire family killed. The entire village is doomed and among the victims is Vijay Setupati. What's the connect between Vijay Setupati and Chara? How does Charan come into the village as which I say to Pati, succeed in his mission. Obviously, he's going to succeed in his romance. Halfway through, Niveta Pituraj, who comes in as Yubarani, the romantic uh, side to which I say to Pati, is killed in the mayhem in the village. The villains are bought the book. The hero and heroine are back together. Is as old as the hills. Can't we sh just brush up these guys? Feel like giving all those guys a neat, clean scrub and then come on and now act in a film. Unscrubbed, unkept, 
unshaven guys constitute the villainy. For well, here, even the hero is almost there. There is just purposeless, meaningless violence in this film. Elsewhere, and logically, actors become stars. It's only in our cinema that stardom robs talent from an actor. This unfortunate movement from star, from actor to star, and becoming larger than life, and then falling like a pack of cards, is the linear progression of many actors. Vijay Setupati is on course. If there is anything, if there be a minimal recommendation in this film, it is Vijay Setupati. Carries off his role with confidence. Everything else is either hackneyed, stale, or predictable. Like Radhe, Vijay Setupati is saying, I am too violent for taste. I am too violent to cater to good audience. If you still have the gumption, here is the challenge. Watch it and enjoy it. Which I say to Bhati, like Radhe, all over it has written, no. Thank you.